guys, the empty bells, my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm coming back with you, coming back to you with, um, with the same cabinet, but remember I said I needed to do the frame? The second, I'm standing on my ladder again. I don't want to kill myself. Okay, so this is how it looks with the door all dried. I think that came out really, really cool. We'll do some close-ups at the end of it. So, anyway, but we need to do the frame. See, this is all blue here. Okay, we're just going to do a distressed finish on that. And I'm going to open up my cabinet. Now, this looks weird because I have a bunch of towels in here. But all these towels are protecting my dishes so that when I um, paint and I, and I don't get any paint splatters, it doesn't splatter on my dishes. That way, I don't take all these dishes out. Anyway, I already started doing a little bit of the distressing right here. Um, so, let's begin. I'm going to come in a little closer so you guys can see. Because we're going to do it some right here. Okay. So that way I think you can see a little bit better. Okay, I already started doing some here. So I have some dark brown here. You guys, I just picked up this Mr. Bottle. Uh, Dion Woods, she uh, uses a lot of water with all of her stuff. And she has this, and when you hit it, it mists, and then it sprays a real fine mist out. This thing is the bomb. With the coupon, you can get it for $5 at Hobby Lobby. That's what it looks like. So if you're looking for it, this is the bomb. Okay. Um, by keeping everything wet like that, it... Um, I'm just looking at my pattern. By keeping everything wet... Um, it really makes things blend. Okay. This is all we're doing is just playing this game here. Oh, I didn't mean to get my brush all. Okay, make sure you guys are seeing. Okay. And I'm blending it right into that other color. Like I'm blending it right into that um, rusty color. Okay. Oh, just sprayed myself. And then when I'm done, I just spray a little bit of water when I'm done also. And that just gives further blending. It might do some drips, which would be great. Okay, let's go back into the dark brown. Okay. Go back into this rust color. And I'm trying to make sure I get a nice blend, so I just put, I'm blending it right back into that brown. Put a little mist there, mist here at the end. I'm going to use um, dark blue. And a little bit of water. Further blend those. There we go. Sorry, yeah, nice little blend going there. And if some kind of drips off and muddles together, that's even better. So, okay. So there we go with that. You guys can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to come here. I've done some of the patterning of this already. I'm going to start up here at the top. Let me see. Let me come back a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to start back up at the top. The dark brown. And if you're watching my video the other day, you guys will be like, she's wearing the same top. You know what? I have just certain tops that um, 
I like to paint in because so this is one of the tops that I can wear where I don't mind getting paint on me. So I just can't take the chance of ruining good clothes because I am not the cleanest painter and I know that I will get something on my clothes. So. Okay, and I went and took that brown and I went ahead and went across the top too. There we go, so that you guys can see. Okay, next we will use the rust color. Let me get some more of this color. Make sure it's nice and blended before we go to the other color. The water. Now I'm going to take this brown color here. I should show you the colors. There we go. And I've talked about it before. The brushes that I'm using, um, I got at Hobby Lobby also, um, where they sell like their own type of like chalk and milk paint. They have the brushes, so. And then I just recently bought, so you two come in a pack, like a small and a large come in a pack. So if you use a coupon, you'll get it for around seven or eight dollars. Um, now I did buy this brush, and this brush, this big old brush here, which is really cool. This is for wax. So when I do milk paint, because I told you guys I'm going to show you guys how I make milk paint. I just learned how to do it. I learned how to make the wax too. Um, <clears throat> This is what you use for the wax, okay? This big old brush when you wax it. Now, I won't be waxing this work. This work, I'll be using just a clear coat um, because I'm using acrylics. But after this, I'm going to start using milk paint, my homemade milk paint. So I'm really excited about that. But this one was like 17 That's what it looks like. And then when I used a coupon, I think it came out to about $11. So I bought two of these with coupons. Not the same day. I went back two different days. The other brushes I went back three different times, different days. So, okay. You know you do it too. <laughs> For those expensive items. Um, all right, let me <coughs> let me decide what I'm doing here. I really need to do blue, but okay, just a second. Oh no no no. Perfect. So, wait, is this this color? Oh, this is this color. All right, let's just go down further with this. And then we'll use the blue. Go right up into this. Cool. That looks cool. I kind of took the blue up on the side a little bit there. You know, I'm going to do that with this color. Kind of go down in there more. Kind of mix things up a little bit more. There we go. I like that. Okay, right here, I feel like I put a little bit too much water. It started like totally coming off. There we go. There we go. I like that better. That looks good. Love. Okay, so let me come in a little bit so you guys can see that. Hopefully that light in the back. That's my window right there and it's open. Just 
so you guys get a better look at that. Okay. All right, so um, next let's do this part up here. Let me bring you guys back a little bit. Jeez. How far back do I have to bring you? There we go. All right, so uh, we already have some of that brown started. So let's do a little fineness. And one thing you have to be careful is it's the hole is so small and little, you don't ever know like which way is the front way, this way or that way. So look at it or you'll spray yourself. But it's such a fine mess, no big deal. Okay, so we're gonna take that color again. And I always do a backward stroke. Um, because then that'll blend me right into the last color. Okay. And since I'm at the top of my, um, my ceiling right here, I just lay my brush real flat and just go right like that. And that way you don't have to tape off. So I learned that trick a while back. It works really nice. So you just have to focus for a second. There we go. Okay. And then the blue. So lay that just kind of flat and you can go right into that. And those colors right there seem a little bit of misty. Okay. And next. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the end down here. Get some water. And then down. Oh, I did the wrong color. I meant to do brown. <laughs> All right, this dark brown, it probably should go right over it. One will hope. Yeah, it did. I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Perfect. It's a really dark, dark chocolate brown, so it went over it. Okay, um, and then next in between there, we will put this color. On the top, lay my brush flat there. And that looks good. There's a little bit of blending right here that I want to do. Let me see if I can go this way with it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that looks really good. Now, I still need to do this side of my cabinet right here. But, um... I need to close this to do that part, so I'll do that part off camera. But I just wanted to show you guys that little distressing technique here. Um, also, I wish this was already dry, but it's not. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna bring the camera up close, but I want to show you guys something. I will um, take my this dark brown paint. In fact, you know, I can do it. Well, can I do it right now? No, because I need to spray. It'll get too wet. I need this to dry. But I will take my spatula, like I did in my last video, take like this dark brown, like that much, and do like some like dirt stuff I like to do. Like I call it dirt. That's, I know it's horrible. But, you know, put that here at the top and then let some brown drip down. 
I'll do some of that. Um, I'll do some uh, stenciling with my uh, script stamp, which looks really good. Let me show you. Um, just a second. And I may come back on here and do that part with you guys once this dries. I think I will. I'll, I'll come back on and I'll show you guys just those same steps. It's the same steps that we did basically on the front of this cabinet, but I just want to repeat those. Um, I'll use that, the script stamp in certain areas. Okay. Little areas over this. And then um, I love this like Tim Holtz. This is not Tim Holtz. This is Andy Skinner. So I should say his name. I say Tim Holtz because it reminds me of Tim Holtz stencil, but it's Andy Skinner. Look how cool it is. And again, that's the same thing we use on the cabinet for like here for the 751 and um, all these cool things, oil pressure. And I'll throw a couple of those on here too um, in little areas. But let me, let me come up a little bit closer so you guys can see. And then also one other thing we will do some it'll be so much easier when I do a piece of furniture in your kitchen it's not easy taping in your kitchen <laughs> I take ink of gold at the end okay and um, with and then wet this uh, fan brush and then take it into my ink of gold and then we'll ink with some ink of gold here and there once this dries You know what? This has dried enough. Awesome. But I can do all those things I was talking about right now. I'm going to do that. So how much, time, how much time do we have? Yeah, we have enough time. So let me do all these things. While I've been talking, running my mouth, this has been drying. So let's go for it, people. Um, we will do, I'll do the stenciling first. Um... Let me get sorry I would have had things prepped for this but I didn't think I was gonna have enough time but I have enough time okay I have the window open right here and then I have a fan going and I have my door open um, so just for any fumes and stuff I get headaches really easily so That'll work perfect. Okay, that goes with that. Let me find a spin, let me find a brush for this. Okay. All right. So let's take the script stamp first. And we're just gonna do, I'm just gonna do it to this right here. And then we'll come up close. So I'm taking some black with this script stamp, making sure you guys can see. Okay. And this just adds that extra something special. Okay. And I don't worry about being perfect because I don't want it perfect. I just want it to look like there was some handwriting on here and it kind of um, wore off. We want it real distressed looking. Cool. Okay, so we're done with that one. I even thought that maybe I might do a look this cross, which would be cool. I love how this cross looks. Isn't that a cool cross? Okay, so, um, and I will come in close so you guys can um, see this in just a second. Um, 
I want to do some stenciling. I'm going to put um, this, this right here. It says 751. I'm going to put that on here. Look at the time. Yeah, we're fine. We'll go about right here. And I think I have enough ink still left on my stencil. Yeah, I do. Or on my stencil, on my brush. Very cool. Love it. And there's a little symbol right here. Number 15, I'm going to use that right up here. So these are just ideas. Whatever stamps you have, or whatever stamps, you can use stamps too. Stamps, and you can use paint with your stamps. Um, but whatever stencils you have or stamps you have, use whatever you have. I just got a new Andy Skinner stencil, and I need to find that because I would, I would, I need to use that. I haven't even used it yet. Okay, um, I think that's good. I might do this number one five two at the very bottom. Yeah, I will. Cool. It doesn't show up that much because it's in the dark brown area, but it's cool. Um, trying to think if I want to go ahead and use I'm not going to use this um yeah I'm not I don't think I'm going to well we might we might use that in a second we'll see okay um let's do some of this um I want to do the drips of brown so I'm going to take this dark brown here this is how I, I say really mucking things up, really making dirt. Um, I'm just going to put that top and then kind of just go like that. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. So right here where it's already brown, I just put some brown here at the top, and then I went like that down. And then I'm going to hit with some water, and we're going to cause a lot of nice drippage. Okay. Very nice. So we're going to have brown drips dripping all over this, which I think is fabulous. Um, I'm even going to throw some dirt in right here. Take my spatula and just throw in some dirt right there. I know that sounds horrible. Like, this is my kitchen and I'm calling it dirt. But, I don't know. That's just what I think of. <laughs> Let's call it aging, okay? I'm going to put some aging right here. <laughs> aging things up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm spraying it so that it starts dripping. And that dripping is what really makes things look cool. All the drips and how the drips dry. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Hopefully you guys are seeing all of this. Okay. And the one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hurry up before my camera turns off here. I have like 30 minutes usually before it starts a new video. I'm going to take my Inca Gold. This is what Inca Gold is, okay? All of them are called Inca Gold, and this one's in gold. That's a little close. <laughs> Sorry. I'm taking a little gold and just putting it in place, little places. And I use a fan brush because when you do that, it kind of blends in better and just looks more natural. Oh, I didn't want it there. That's where I had like a number 15. I don't want to interrupt that. I'll put some there. I don't want gold anywhere else. And then a lot of times I'll just take my finger and wet my finger. I just sprayed myself. Take my finger, wet my finger a little bit. 
and kind of just go over that gold. Sometimes I'll spray it and let the gold drip a little bit. Just to get it kind of like just more not look, look like I painted the gold on there. Kind of like it just got splashed on there. That looks good. And the last thing we're going to do really quickly um, is we're going to do some splatters. Some brown splatters. Okay, where is the hole? There we go. So I'm taking that brown paint and we're going to get some splatters going. I'm going to take the large fan brush. Okay. So these are just basically the same things I did as far as all this aging is the same thing we did on this part. And this is why I have those towels right there. So I have these splatters. They are getting in my cupboard. Oh well. All right, so we'll stop with the splatters. That's enough splatters right there anyway. Couple of splatters got in my cupboard there. All right. Okay, I got the splatters. No big deal. Okay, and these towels are old towels, so um, they're my throwaways towels that you know I don't mind something happening to them. Um, just really quick, I just want to throw a little bit more water on that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like when it's wet it's wet so it's gonna look a little bit different when it dries but pretty much like this so I don't know if you guys can see that all right I don't know I'm, I'm I don't know if you guys could see that when I just did that just now I'll go back up again and that's what the top looks like So I'll go back to the rest of it and I will do all those little distressing type of little things and it'll be really cool. I love it. Okay, you guys, that is it for now before this video turns off. Um, and I don't think I'm going to do any more. Yes, I am. I'm going to do one more video about these cabinets. Um, I have drawers and I'm going to do a little bit different technique on the drawers. So, um, that's going to be really cool. So when I do the drawers, like my uh, drawers for like my spoons and forks and knives and all that, I'll come back on when I get to, when I get to that. So, all right, you guys, that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you give this video a thumbs up. That'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll talk to you guys next video.